Thank you for the ride, pals. Oh, hey. Hide the gun. I may try and get this guy as well because. What is it? Um, oh, $25. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. But we need to get Good to moonshine for one of our friends. Glad you dropped He's in. trying to build some machines. That, uh, information you asked for? Yes. Um, need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. All right. Let's go inspect that. Blue Water Marsh, St. Denis, look at right here. Evening. Okay. So he told us. About this one, oh my lord, it's far. Hmm. Okay, I think we're gonna do bounty. In blue water. Okay, girl. So now we're gonna see you. Where are we gonna hunt the bounty guy? Alright, Mark. Yep. I will go get ya. We ain't going till you get this right. I can't, Daddy, please. Let him in. He's been trying for hours. He ain't no kind of man till he can get on a horse. Right, where are they? Oh. I can't do it, Daddy. He's spent. Let him rest. My son ain't no quitter. Do it again, boy. <laughs> My arms are like rope. Leave it, Billy, please. He ain't trying, is all. Again, boy. <sighs> I can't. I'm, I'm beat. Look at him. He's worn through. He will be if he don't get up there. <gasps> They're here for your bounty. <gasps> Come to mama, boy. <gasps> no! Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. We knew you was coming. Okay. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Make it quick. You're a forgiven man. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. Exactly a... Enough! We got a ways to go. Heartless bastard? You're in charge, boy. Take care of things. Talk. Just be strong, boy. Yeah. Be strong, pal. Look at the 
And I mean going back. And we can go this way. Thank you, Dang. That's why he's quiet. Now, what was the point in all that? Could have got your neck broke prematurely. No more games, all right? I have a feeling he's gonna do it again. Or maybe not. Coat down at home. Found this feller on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a great. Uh, I was out to buy you. Wasn't hurting no one. Your past catches up with you. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up. Thanks, pal. We all deserve second chances, every one of them. Yeah, I know. But my second chance is to run all the way over here. Institute the moonshine. Move out of the darn way. It's all right. Now we got to see you. Bye, the thing. Yeah, where is this shine? Oh, it's over there. Job. Yep. Alright, let's 
go back to Professor and see what machines he's trying to make. I have a feeling it's like a engine. Let's find to Moonshine. Okay, how do I do that? It's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> Can't say that I don't. Uh, read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money. <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? See, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Oh my god, can you give me my money? Alright, I'm gonna go convince the bloody mayo. Oh, police chief, actually. Alright, I'll be back soon. Oops. My bad. Uh, 
Alright, looks like we go to Sindeni's police apartment. <laughs> After we kind of almost wanted. Which we are not anymore. You got something to hide? Show me your face. Oh, um. I ain't in the mood to rip myself. Don't put up with that. Look, I'm just trying to be on my way. Think it's best if you left. Now get. Last time I'm gonna tell you now. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going. What the hell's happening? Can I just... Oh my lord. How's it going, fellas? Morning. Mister. Your face looks familiar. You remind me of a feller I used to know. Mm -hmm. You don't want to talk? No. Okay. Look out! Hi, uh, folks. Hey, partner. Good morning. All right. Yay, we can go back. Get him, police. Right. So welcome to our humble police house. It's easier though. What can I do for you? Um Hey there, I can't mister. Possibly help you. Go to you don't help. tell me what you need. Or can I actually go in? Oh. Can I help you with something? Well, I see you didn't get the message see, last time. I'm representing well, I'll be the inventor of the show. humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's going to cost you $100 in fees. Mind your own, partner. What the hell? You better pay me a buttload. Okay, well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Oh, my lord, this. Amazing goddamn professor. Alright, girl. You must be damn stupid. Let's have a war with him and hopefully he's gonna pay me well because Ooh baby. What's the matter with you? We spent some money for him. Professor, I got you a stupid pyramid. Ah, hello, friend. Hello, Professor. Professor Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, 
The chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Ugh. Find him for me, and help me put him out of his misery. Huh. Oh my god, he's so needy. And it's just 95. Oh my god, we're losing money. I swear we're gonna lose money on this. Where is he? Because he's far, huh? Why? This is all coming together. All right. Oh, we're gonna see you. Oh, you're gonna be close. Alright, it looks like we need to now find a guy, huh? Anything here? No. Is he anywhere here? this guy Supposed to get him back alive, idiot. Okay. Maybe we can now sneak up on them. Done it. Stop. Is very kind of you. 
Professor, I'm back. Professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no. Here, I got Bring him. him. over here. You're wonderful. Come on. Just... <sighs> Don't be shy now. Let's go. You're coming with me. Yeah, man. What are you waiting for? There you go. Now, where's my money? Um. Money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Uh, oh, well, once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, uh, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Yeah, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. All right, I want to have it over it, right, so let's try have a look then. Where are we need to go? It's not on the map yet. You don't want to? Alright. Okay. Looks like we're going to finish it in the next episode. This guy needs to realize that he needs to move. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if you did. Leave a like. And if you don't want to miss the next one, please subscribe and I'll see you then as this one has been right.